Take a look at the progression of Drew Locke through his five games here. Now, the Broncos, this is his first pass attempt. Now, Broncos come out in an empty formation here. At the bottom of your screen, the number one wide receiver on the outside is going to run a hitch route. Deshaun Hamilton's the number two receiver. He's going to run a post pattern. And Jeff Hireman is in line as a tight end right now. He's going to run an out route. And then Cortland Sutton at the top right of your screen is lined up as the number two wide receiver. He's going to run a vertical seam. And you can almost make the argument that this was either a seam or was intended to be a corner route based on the placement by Drew Locke and then Royce Freeman. Freeman at the top of your screen, the number one receiver, just going to run a hitch here. I'm going to pause it again just for a moment here. I'm going to show you, Kate. So now this linebacker right here at the left side of your screen, he's going to blitz. So they're going to be sending five at Drew Locke, and really he demonstrates some tremendous poise, I think, in the pocket. Earlier he had a little bit of happy feet, but this is actually a pretty good throw. The defense overall looks like they're playing a cover one here because this safety's floating. He sees that Drew Locke is looking at Cortland Sutton from the onset. None of these guys are being read over here on the left side of the screen. So he's just going to try to jump over the top of the route and maybe try to get an interception or a big hit. But, you know, really the ball placement here by Drew Locke is, you know, to the outside. But it seems like there was a miscommunication by him and Cortland Sutton. So as you see the motion out to the empty, and you're going to see the blitz coming off your right side here. And look at Elijah Wilkinson right here. I feel like this is one thing we can also go into a film review on is just the technique, and I feel like this is why he's better suited as a guard. This is a faster blitzer than what he can account for. And look, it almost leads to a holding call, but look at Drew Locke right here. His feet are set. This is a pretty good throw. You got Melvin Ingram jumping up in the air, trying to get his hands up, and you can tell by the trajectory of this pass, it's intended to be on the outside. So I get the assumption it was a corner route that Cortland Sutton was supposed to run. You can almost see it too based on his adjustment. Now look at this window right here. Now you've got one guy right here underneath. You've got this safety coming over the top. You got your inside nickel cover guy in trail technique you got to float that ball over here he does just that but the anticipation of Cortland Sutton he gets more vertical up here rather than getting to the corner route so it leads to an incompletion but this is actually a pretty good throw by Drew Locke I'm actually pleased with the progress that he showed on one of his first pass attempts some of the critiques for Drew Locke coming out of college was that he relied a lot on his arm strength and sometimes abandoned his footwork and his technique when pressure was there, throwing off of his back foot. This is one of those plays where he does display some happy feet here and he throws off of his back foot. There is quick pressure, and I'm going to show you exactly what the Chargers do. You see Derwin James walking up. He's lined up inside leverage, pretending that he's going to be covering Noel Fant. Derwin James is going to blitz inside Garrett Bowles, and then all of a sudden Joey Bose is going to blitz on the outside here. So Locke's got to get the ball out quickly. Doesn't feel like he has a lot of time to throw so he just relies on his arm strength which you know he's got it but you don't want to make that a habit now over the course of the season of the five game stretch he actually improves and I'm going to show you that against the Detroit Lions and the Las Vegas Raiders that he actually steps up he sets his feet and he improved on this area big time and for the Broncos and for Drew Locke you want to be able to carry over some of those things into 2020 where you can do even better I certainly believe that his footwork improved his technique and his overall mindset as a quarterback improved week to week. Drew Locke on this play, he throws an interception to Denzel Perryman, the Chargers against the Pistol. They come out in a 3-3 stack, which you have three down defensive linemen, and then you have three interior coverage backers or run stoppers, and then you're stacking the outside here with your pass rushers here, and this is just a forced throw by Drew Locke, and what you're going to see by the Broncos route combinations, Cortland Sutton's going to outside release, he's going to run an inside sit to the sticks, you're going to see a deep dig route here, you're also going to see a deep dig route drag concept here, but look at all these cover guys here by the Chargers. They've got one, they've got two, and they've got three other guys right here. So they have, they're outnumbered essentially here. So for Drew Locke, he relies a little bit on his arm strength and forces the throw into a coverage window where it's just not there. So right here, you can see he's underneath here. You've got this guy playing over the top. He's backpedaling. He could break at any time. And then you've got these two guys who've got both of the Broncos receiving options in front of them. There is simply nothing open here in terms of the window of the throw. As you can see, he tries to fit it into this tight window right here, anticipating that he's going to get there. But Denzel Perryman makes a phenomenal play, jumps the route, and intercepts the pass here for the Chargers. And I'm going to show you guys from the other angle. It's just forcing it. And Drew Locke got better week by week. He made smarter decisions, and he trusted his technique. He trusted what his coaches were telling him. And as you see, he just fires into that window there. Tim Patrick was not open. That's a covered wide receiver there. There's nothing there that you can essentially do. So we're going to slow it down tenfold for you guys here. But let's see. Okay, so you're sending four after Drew Locke here. You've got Royce Freeman stepping up. 
Drew Locke is eyeing the field. He's reading it. You could see his eyes. This is where Denzel Perryman reads him. And then he's going to be able to just jump in front of this route. And so this was a rookie mistake by Drew Locke. But week by week, he actually improved and made better decisions. Now, like I said earlier, this film review is not to show off the highlights of Drew Locke. I want to show his decision-making. I want to see the evolution of his thought process. We saw with the LA Chargers, some happy feet, some forced throws here. But this is actually a good job by Drew Locke off the play action here, recognizing that his first read is not open. Now watch right here. Initially off the play action, you're going to hit your underneath guy quickly because it's just a design to get the ball out quickly. But Drew Locke sees that this safety is right here and he would blow up his target. So he's not going to force it. He pump fakes and, and Corlin Sutton gets across the field here. And you can almost make the argument right there. There's a little bit of illegal contact that is not called. The ball's not thrown. And certainly, I mean, the NFL, I don't know what the officials were looking at here. Drew Locke actually makes a smart decision. So let's go to the end zone camp. Look at Lauren Landau there. The biggest guns in the NFL there. But watch the thought process. Watch the decision making here of Drew Locke. You're going to see the play action fake. He's going to roll out to the right. Looks for his initial read. Knows it's not there. He extends wide and at least tries to put it on a little bit of a rope here. Now, I'm going to show you guys this again. Linebackers cheat over. They're going to see Flo going to their right side. The offensive left, defensive right. Drew Locke could have probably tucked a little bit better on that play action fake. I'm not going to nitpick, but he notices, okay, my initial read's not there. That safety's going to blow up my guy. I'm not going to put him in a position to get a big hit. Illegal contact missed by the officials. Still kind of throws it on a rope to where Cortland Sutton has a chance to catch it. Decision-making, anticipation. This is where Drew Locke grew from week 13 all the way to week 17. Now, this is week 16 against the Detroit Lions. I like this play here. He finds Deshaun Hamilton for a first down. What you're going to see is just a crossing pattern. And then you're going to see it also from the tight end position as well. So you're creating clear outs underneath. Royce Freeman is going to be elite blocker here as if the Broncos were going to give the jet motion here to Phillip Lindsay to the outside. It creates flow by the defense going this way. They have to readjust and really just smart anticipation. Drew Locke sets his feet and he throws and a perfect window for Deshaun Hamilton. 20-yard gain. Move the chains. The Denver Broncos have a first down here. And I like the play design. Like I said, watch the defense here with the jet motion. They got to respect it. Now, the Broncos offense, they could have came back to that with Royce Freeman being a lead blocker out here. They could have just gave the ball to Philip Lindsay, and he would have had a jet motion, and he probably could have kept it. But watch Drew Locke right here. He sets his feet. Look at that. There's a window. He's anticipating where Deshaun Hamilton is going to be, and he fires it into a place where it's not behind him. It's perfectly in front of him in a tight window between three defenders. That is smart football play here by Drew Locke. So nice. we got to show you guys once again. Fake the inside. He rolls out. Look, there's some pressure there, and the defender doesn't step up, but he throws that ball in a perfect window, almost in between the delta there. First down, Denver Broncos. But this was a smart decision by Drew Locke, and we saw him grow in Week 16. I tell you what, I really had a lot of fun watching Deshaun Hamilton come into his own with Drew Locke, and really he became a trusted guy, a security blanket for Locke at the quarterback position. So what you're going to see here, this is the route concept. Now on the outside, you're going to see a dig route. Deshaun Hamilton's going to release outside, step, and then come back inside as well to the middle of the field. You got Tim Patrick right here. He's going to run a little snag concept and sit. Noah Fant is going to run a corner route, and Philip Lindsay's going to run I believe he runs an out route here, but I felt like on this concept, there's too much traffic. There's too much running into each other. I would have more liked him to see to just maybe swing out or run to the flats here. But this is a great play design. Drew Locke, great patience, great anticipation once again. Pressure in his face, sets his feet, and he makes a throw in the window. Now look at this right here. Look, you got this window space right here that he's taking a look at here. And you got Deshaun Hamilton, who's great route running right here. Gets him free right there. Look at that. Look at this window. And Locke is going to fire this pass from here all the way to Deshaun Hamilton. And I, I love it. I think it was a great throw. I really like to see what Deshaun can do with the Broncos going into 2020. He could be a great security blanket option. He really found a lot of confidence. So watch Drew Locke right here. You're going to see some interior pressure coming in for number 44. And despite that, despite the fact that there's a little bit of gap there, he anticipates where Deshaun's going to be, throws it into that window where only Deshaun's going to get it without throwing him into a safety, without throwing him into significant contact. And sure, he's going to take a little bit of a shot there, but that was a smart throw, great anticipation throw there by Drew Locke. Love this play by the Broncos on third and six, and you're going to see man coverage here by the Raiders. They're going to be in cover one, and the free safety in the middle of the field, he's going to cover that middle third. You've got man coverage here. You've also got man coverage right here, and you also got man coverage here, and really for Deshaun Hamilton, I want to pinpoint 
how good of a route runner he is. He runs, his brakes are very crisp, plants his foot, and he gets that leverage to the outside and picks up the first down. Drew Locke knows exactly where Deshaun's going to break. They've got a good chemistry with one another, which is why you could expect to see a little bit more Deshaun in 2020. I like this play here. First down, Denver. We know Drew Locke is athletic and can use his legs, and this is just another play of keeping the drive alive here. And rather than relying on his athletic talent, which we all know that he has, he could have scrambled and tried to run for a first down, but he plays to keep the play alive, and he makes a good throw here to Cortland Sutton. Now, this is one of the plays that you usually see me run. If you ever play me in Madden, I do this play a lot. I like to run the little snag concept. I like to roll out and then throw a little bit back, backside. But look at this right here. This is a, a good play. Athleticism. He's reading. He could have easily tucked the ball right here and got tracked this way if he wanted to. He certainly could have done that, even though that this guy's pretty close. He probably could have tracked near hip. Uh, but outside of that, he sees the leverage. He sees where Cortland Sutton's got some separation. He sees that Cortland Sutton right here, he's posted up, and he's going to throw this ball a little bit right here in a, only a spot where Cortland Sutton can get it. So watch it. Bam! Catch and run after the play. I'm going to show you guys the slow motion here. Okay, the pocket is collapsing around him. You see it from the outside. Max Crosby is going to be a hell of a player for the Raiders for years to come. He's going to be a pain in the ass. you got to be able to account for him. But Locke does a great job stepping up, using his eyes, and not just relying on his legs to, to maybe take an unnecessary shot, but he uses his arm. He uses his smarts. He sees the separation between the defender and Cortland Sutton. He throws the ball in a path right here. Sutton catches it yards after the catch. Sutton's a hard guy to tackle. He's a hard guy to bring down, and Max Crosby comes in for the the cleanup here, but great play, great smarts by Drew Locke. 